Well, when it comes to the book of Ezekiel, I get the question about its vocabulary a lot because most people assume that you go to Ezekiel 1, you have an ancient spaceship there. Uh, and it's sort of prime fodder for ancient alien material. The problem is, is a lot of people don't even read it closely. Uh, for instance, if you actually look at the Ezekiel account, Ezekiel chapter 1, then a lot of it's repeated in chapter 10. For instance, the only thing that's round in the chapter are the wheels supporting the rakhiach, the platform or the expanse, atop of which Yahweh, the God of Israel, is seated. There's nothing else round. And what the reason that's significant is because you look at some of these ancient alien descriptions about Ezekiel chapter 1, and they have the expanse on which Yahweh is sitting as a UFO, as though he's piloting some sort of alien craft. But if you actually read the text, the platform, the expanse, is not round. It's never described that way. The other thing about the vocabulary is Hebrew has a lot of words for round objects, other than the word for wheel. I've already said that the word wheel is in there, the four wheels and all that sort of thing. But it has a lot of vocabulary for things that are round. Kikar, uh, shelet, yagil. Uh, there are five or six or seven different Hebrew words that are scattered throughout the Hebrew Bible for round things. Shields, loaves of bread, that sort of thing. None of them are found in Ezekiel 1. Not a single one. So the only thing that's round when you get to Ezekiel 1 are the wheels supporting the platform. But Yahweh is not riding around in a spaceship. Uh, the, the wheels, we know what that is. We know what each, each of them are. We know why that description is what it is. Because we have iconography from the Babylonian period. Remember, Ezekiel is writing as a captive in Babylon. We have iconography from Babylonian period, earlier Assyrian periods, Phoenician material. It's a cherubim throne. It's, it's, it's a throne. It's a seat. It's a chair, as it were, mounted atop cherubim. And in some cases, those cherubim had wheels because the gods were pictured and the God of Israel is often pictured in the Hebrew Bible as riding around the sky, you know, traversing the heavens on the clouds. And so the mode of transportation other than boats in the ancient world were chariots and chariot thrones. So these are all very normal descriptions, but other than the wheels themselves, the expanse that people think is a UFO is never described as being round. It's a chariot. It's a throne chariot. And it's very easy to spot and know what Ezekiel's talking about if you're familiar with the ancient Near Eastern material.